Hi and welcome here again. Okay, so in this video, we are going to create a basic tree so that we can put it in our scene. Okay, here in Blender, in, in our Blender 3D software, uh, this is just a normal scene. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press A to select everything, press X, and then delete. So to be, to create a tree, although I'm not gonna make an effort to make a beautiful tree, I'm just gonna show you guys how you can create a basic tree and then import, then ex export and then import it in your 3D or a Blender project or Babylon JS project. Okay, so press Shift A and go to the mesh. Uh, let's just say we're going to press use the cube. And then rename this to tree. Okay, in here, as you can see, the origin is the orange over here. So if we export this to our Babylon project, if we import this into the scene, and then the scene will automatically detect the origin and then place it in the center of our in the center of our project and we don't want the origin to be its center because the other half of this box will be below the ground so instead we want to place the origin in here so if we import it into our Babylon project by default they will place this object above the ground okay so let's go to the edit mode Press this, uh, the third one, which is the face selection. Uh, on your keyboard, hold Shift S, then select cursor to selected. It will place the cursor below the below the ground <clears throat> or below the mesh. After that, go back to the object mode, right click, and then set origin, origin to 3D cursor, which is the cursor that is in our mesh below the mesh and then as you can see the origin is already on uh, the ground so to to just uh, organize this and place it on the center of our blender 3d software just press alt g and then shift c to move the cursor to the center again okay so we are good to go and we can create our 3d tree right now so Let's go back to the edit mode. Just you can follow along. So I'm just gonna press S G and then move it down. And then press E again. And then S E S E and S. So it doesn't look like a tree. I'm just gonna press G to move to move this. Maybe I can create a normal trunk in here. I just press Control R to make a cut. And maybe above here. Press three to go to your selection, face selection. Press E S E S and E S place it just like that then in here we're gonna do the same or maybe I'll just do a cut in here press K to go to your cut mode and then you can cut in here maybe just like this so we made a cut in here and I'm gonna press 3 again face selection and select the faces press E S then G to move somewhere E S G to move and E S so I made a basic trunk in here let's make this small a little so in the edit mode, I can also create a 
mesh again in here so push press shift a and then use the ico spear so this will be our uh, leaves for our tree g to move s a little and s and press z so it will scale it down a little and then shift d to duplicate move it in here s g shift d again and move it here so to so we are done here all we need to do is uh, paint this so i'm gonna teach you guys how you can paint your 3d tree so in here go to texture painting as you can see it turned to violet oh sorry before we do that just return to edit mode press a to select everything we need to unwrap this one so just select smart tv project okay so it will create a basic map so for this if we texture paint it you can see that uh, the paint will be saved in here it's just like painting a uh, painting a in a paper and then this paper will wrap will wrap the 3d software and then it will place correctly onto the 3d so onto the, our 3d shape okay so now that we have unwrap our 3d model we are going to texture paint and then go here create a new texture just a base color and maybe let's just name this tree texture this is the resolution or how good you want it to be the higher and uh, uh, the better the quality but we're just gonna make it uh, times two, 2048 times two. And then we don't need the alpha. And we can start the starting color by brownish. Okay. And then go here to, into the material. Remove the specular because we don't want it to be shiny. So here's the picture of our tree go to edit mode just uh, press l to select a certain 3d part so press l in here into this uh, tree press l so we only select the tree bush bushes go back to your texture paint and press the face over here and go in here into the draw so you can see we can draw our 3d software Control z to return that so we want to replace our brush to green so in here in this mode you can change your brush color in here by green but so to make to paint it all just go here into the fill then press your selection we need a little greenish black green okay so now you have painted your leaves by green and then go back to the object mode and see your 3d model so this is our basic tree for our scene and then I'm gonna export this selected or not selected just press file export and the same thing as we how we export our uh, night 3d model uh, just a gltf file and go back to your to your project folder so I'm gonna go go to mine
So I'm gonna in here in our uh model folder I I made a models folder and I'm gonna save our screen there and since this is a static mesh we don't need the animations in here so you can just uncheck this and then export okay so we are going to return into our uh, project to our Babylon project So in here, in our scene, we are going to place the tree. So let's go back. So we can delete this JavaScript SVG. We don't need that. And the counter and the style. In here, in the main, just remove the import style. Save that. So as you can see, the tree is in here in our models. Go back to your game scene. And we can import the model in here. So import tree. So just like the same thing that we made in here. Paste that. Instead of character, it's tree, the GLB. And rename this to tree main. So let's save that. Let's check our scene. Okay, as you can see, there is a tree in here. So you can scale it down or you can scale it in here. Doesn't matter. Let's, let's just uh, shade smooth. Then scale it a little. Control A or transform. Export again. See the tree gets smaller. Okay, so now we have successfully import, uh, made and import our tree in our Babylon project. To our next section, I'm gonna teach you how you can create or clone this tree without using the await method in here, the await function, because this await consumes memory and time consuming because await if you await more than 10 trees in here then it's just gonna slow your project so in our next section i'm gonna teach you how you can uh, create a clone of this tree and then scatter it in our uh, babylon project so i'm gonna see you there goodbye for now